Yo, 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 what is going on YouTube? It's your boy Most Bowling. My team is back, man. It took us only seven seasons, six seasons of nothing to this point. I keep saying this every video. I've been seeing so many people getting back on the game. I'm so happy. I'm one of them. I'm glad you guys are getting back into it. I'm glad I'm getting you guys back into it. We've all missed it, obviously. Like, we missed basketball games. But my team is finally waking up in so many ways. But look, we're going to talk about the three cards for tomorrow. We have three free Dark Matters dropping tomorrow. I'm going to talk about why this is a step forward, what can happen, all that good stuff. Let's just get straight to it, just in case anyone missed the news, or just so everyone knows what's happening, all that good stuff. So we got Pioneers of the Game dropping tomorrow. We got three Dark Matters. Look, we're going to talk about their sizes, all that, what could have done better, what is good, what is not, all that. So Chuck Cooper is the shooting guard small forward. We got Earl Lloyd and we got Nat Clifton. So these were the first three players, first three black basketball players in the NBA. First drafted, first one signed, first one this, first one that. So this is monumental. These are literally the pioneers of the game. So let's read what NBA 2K tweeted. Three pioneers who blazed a new path in NBA history are coming to my team tomorrow. Yes, yes, yes. Take on Chuck Cooper. Earl Lloyd and Nat Sweetwater Clifton. What kind of nickname is that? My man's name's Sweetwater. So you play them in triple threat and you get to add their special pioneers of the game cards to your collection. You earn rewards as you complete all three challenges. So there's three challenges, whether they're gonna be spotlights or skills, doesn't really matter. But Chuck Cooper, he is, he is, he is. Let's see his height. Where does it say? He's 1.96 meters. I forgot that I live in a whole different continent. And we deal with meters and not feet. Is there a better way to see this? Chuck Cooper height in feet. Let's do that. How about that? These guys were in the NBA in 1950. That's so long ago. That's way before pretty much most of us were born. So 6'5", Chuck Cooper. Okay. Earl Lloyd height in feet. I'm mad I have to do that. So he's 6'6". And that I'm pretty sure is 6'8", because you can see he's two meters long. So Nat Clifton, a height in feet, all right? So there we go. So we got a 6'5", 6'6", six, 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 and 6'8". Six, so it's not crazy. It's not insane. So the 6'8", guys, are powerful or small forward, blah, 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 blah. But that's not the point. The point isn't if they're going to be super usable or anything like that. The point is there's something free if you play the game. That's the point. The point is... Where has this been all year? Why haven't they been rewarding us for playing the game? It looks like easy challenges where there's guys that should have been dropped in February because they're short. That's one. Two, they should have dropped them in Black History Month. It would have made sense. But we clearly know that whatever was happening in my team the past few months, they've changed ownership or leadership or whatever. And they're trying to head to a better direction for 2K24 to make sure we buy it. Otherwise, we're definitely not going to buy it. But... I'm liking the direction, I'm liking the movement, I'm enjoying that they're adding free stuff. The Rush event has been dope, lasting a whole week. I'm sure it's going to be done again on Tuesday. More Rush cards, more that, more packs to get, all that. So it's such a W vibe to be able to grind for new content and being able to get free content. Like literally, where has this been? I can't stress that enough. Now I will go over the cards that are dropping tomorrow as well. There are a bunch of different cards dropping tomorrow. Three Invincibles, one of them being Invincible Shaq, Invincible Scotty, and Invincible Lamelo Ball. So Scotty can play the two. That's one thing we need to know off the top. It's the Splash Zone set, which is going to be wild. Hopefully they keep the prices and the percentage at least the same, if not better. The percentage has to stay the same throughout the year or get better every drop. And the prices should never go up over 10,500 MT and how much it was VC, which I don't remember exactly if it's 7,500 or what it was, but it got to stay like that. We also got a Jalen Brown. We're assuming he's never going to get an Evo the way he's been playing. He's hurt. He's got a messed up left elbow thingy. We, they're going to play tonight game five and we'll see how that goes. There's a Siakam who's going to be a beast. I'm going to assume he's going to be like a Jonathan Isaac type player. There's a Damian Lillard who every Dame is pretty much the same. You can't really make Dame much better. He's the same height. So how do you make that better? Ray Allen's getting a new card. That should be kind of dope. Sean Kemp who was a beast all year so far. Every card he's gotten got a Dark Matter as well. So those are all the Dark Matters. A bunch of them. So there's a total of five and then three Invincibles which is wild. Eight Dark Matters total. 
not to mention all the old time ones that they made as crowd fillers or whatever. And then we got five opals and Morris Peterson, who's usually pretty good, especially that he's tall for his size or whatever, or height or position, I'm trying to say. Trevor Ariza is usually, uh, actually we haven't gotten a Trevor in a minute, but Trevor should be fine. Larry Hughes should be dope. Tom Chambers, Rudy Gobert, all those cards should be really, really cheap. Budget beasts and all that good stuff. I'm kind of really excited for the direction my team's been heading in. Super, super stoked. I can't believe we're finally getting something like this. Like, <laughs> it's about time. That's all I got to really say. Let me know what you guys are thinking about this. I hope they continue to do this. Even if it's not every week for stuff like this, it should be happening every like two weeks. There should be events all the time. The rush packs got to be weekly. Thank you guys for that. We That's all we've been asking for. Like, it really doesn't take time. You're just implementing them in the game. And then that's it. You're gone. You don't have to do anything else. It's a one-time job, flick of a finger. And I'm not trying to make this video complaining about the past i'm here to thank you guys for now the present i keep saying this and the reason i am clapping my hands giving you your flowers is so you can continue this not go backwards great job on the locker code a few days ago not a pack but it was a playoff pack which is cool keep it going finals coming up another games keep that going keep that energy keep that momentum keep us engaged man my views are up every youtuber's views are up the game is popping people installing it again keep that momentum going keep it vibing people's streams are going well i'm seeing a lot of people interacting a lot of people tell me they're getting back in the game and i hope this trend continues for as long as possible let me know what you guys think i hope you guys are excited we'll be talking soon and i'll catch you guys later it's been your boy most y'all know the drill and balling